Welcome to Disciple of Christ family. I'm thanking God for this beautiful time and I, I also know that how good it is to talk about the purpose of God in our lives. Today we will talk about the purpose of God in our lives. Sometimes we don't, we don't know what the purpose of God in our lives is and we stray away from Him. But here uh, we will talk about what the purpose of God in our lives is. Genesis 1.27 says, So God created mankind in His own image, in the image of God. He created them. Male and female, He created them. Let me pray. Precious Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this beautiful time. I'm thankful to you for this time, Lord Father. And I also pray for the person who is watching this video, Lord Father. I pray that you will bless. God, help the person to keep the purpose of yours in, uh, in, in heart, Lord Father. And always to glorify your name, Lord Father God. I, I pray for the person as uh, he, he or she listened, Lord Father. Let your name be glorified, Lord Father. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The purpose of God in our lives. To understand, to understand the Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. Uh, the concept of the verse, I'm not going to talk about the deep meaning of the verse or the heart of the verse. But I want to share what I, what I understand or what I understood when I read this verse. So when I read the verse, I see the plan and the purpose of God as He created or as He is a creator of mankind. And He created us in His own image. Two important things to keep in mind. First is that mankind would represent God in control or to control everything that God has created in this world. That doesn't mean God could not control on what He just created or what He created, the heavens and earth. The verse doesn't limit God's, uh, God's uh, omnipotent. But he loved human beings and mankind and he let the male and female control everything that he created. The second important thing that we need to keep in mind is the purpose of God is to let the mankind worship his name and let the mankind exalt his name over and over in this world to let the mankind know that the God of the Bible is the creator of heavens and earth and we are to worship him as a human being and as created being in his own image we are to worship our living God the God of the Bible and we must know that the God of the Bible is above all gods and He created everything. The holy book or the holy books of other religions would claim in their own ways. But only the scripture in the, in the holy Bible declares that God created mankind in His own image to represent Him and to control the heavens and earth for His glorification, for His uh, to, to worship and mankind been created to worship and exalt His name. We don't need to worship the statue, we, know, we don't need to worship uh, you know anywhere to go and but God of the Bible is the God above all gods. These two purposes of God in Genesis chapter 1 verse 27 shows that God of the Bible is living God. We don't need to worship anything but worship Him alone, the God of the Bible, 
because the Bible says we are created in his own image. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe for more videos and share with your friends and like the video.